Okay, I want to talk about why I chose this particular charge controller for my Harbor Freight solar panel system. Um, what I did, this is a recommendation from Al, and uh, his recommendations have been 100% spot on, so that's a big contributor to this, but uh, I always take recommendations as they are and do my own research, which is what I recommend you do also. But uh, what I did is I went to Amazon and I typed in DC-AC uh, converter and I typed in solar converters, uh, uh, controllers, excuse me, controllers. And I found that um, there was the, the most popular converter um, and, had, and had the most uh, reviews. As I read the reviews, the reviews were saying that um, it's not an MPPT and therefore it, it, we lose a lot of power. So the, I don't know what MPPT means, but I do know that uh, it can improve the efficiency of, the, of the, bringing the power in from the solar panels to the battery by 10 to 30 percent. And it, the MPP part of this I guess it's, it's maximum power point. Um, um, it, it, it keeps the the solar. It, it doesn't doesn't let the batteries overcharge, but uh, keeps the solar power um, at its maximum. So, uh, where most uh, um, charge controllers will lose, you'll somewhere be around 50 percent efficiency this can be up to 95 to 97 percent efficiency. So that was a big plus for me. I figure I want to get as much power from my solar panels as possible. I do know I'll have some line loss. I do know I'm going to have some uh, uh, controller loss. I do know I'm going to have some inverter loss trans going from DC to AC. So uh, I want to minimize that as much as possible. That's one of the main reasons why I spent the extra few dollars to get the MPPT controller. Another reason is because this is 30 amps. Now, if I just had my Harbor Freight uh, one kit, and, and I think that's five amps, but then I've got two, I have four kits, so we're looking at 20 amps. And I may, you know, I may expand it, I may not, but uh, having, I always like to get at, less, at least 10 percent more um, um, rating than what I, what I anticipate using. And so here I'm using 20 percent uh, would be maximum coming from my four kits and I've got a 30 amp uh, controller. So I'm happy with that. Another thing is, is I am starting out with solar power and I'm, I'm running a 12 volt system. Now I'm told that the best system to run is a 24 volt system. So the third reason why I bought this controller is because this will automatically work with a 12 volt series, a 24 volt series, or a 48 volt series uh, solar panel uh, setup. So uh, I understand if you if you set up the solar panels in uh, series in parallel in the configuration that you can get uh, 24 or 48 volts. So, uh, and then you have more uh, less lo uh, power loss. So, uh, this really has all the options that I'm looking for. So, down the road, I haven't thought, man, I've spent this money and now it doesn't work for what I need. From what I can tell, it'll work in every single situation that I'll come across, whether it's 12 volt, 24 volt, 48 volt, whether I increase uh, by adding another uh, set of uh, a number, another Harbor Freight uh, a kit, so I'll have, I'll have the extra ampage. Um, it increases my voltage, uh, my efficiency up to 95 to 97 uh, percent, so I'm not losing line loss. Uh, so it's doing everything, or power loss, I'm doing everything that I wanted to do now and in the future. So I highly recommend, uh, and I'll put a link down to where you can get this, but um, I'll highly recommend you do some research, determine what you want to do now, 
consider what you're going to do in the future and buy accordingly so you're not spending $150 now and then you know selling that off for $75, $70 later so you can buy a $250 unit for whatever you're needing. So just something to consider as you're looking at your solar controller is uh, take a look at the, the MPPT uh, solar controllers with the proper ampage and voltage. This is LDS Prepper out.